So this is the City Engineers Polling Station Center at the Odeo 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 constituency of the Greater Accra region. And over here, we have about six polling stations here. And uh, as you can see, some people, or electorates for that matter, have been uh, queued up here to see the EC officers to undertake the process. And behind the gate also, you can see some of the eligible voters trying to locate their position uh, in a queue. But, but the security officers have been stationed here to ensure that um, calm is restored to some of the uh, electorates who are trying to uh, engage in some kind of scaffold due to their inability to uh, enter the premises to undertake the process. But the uh, security officers are trying their uh, possible best to ensure that calm is restored at the gate. But due to the COVID-19 that uh, has erupted in the uh, country and across, uh, you can see the COVID-19 safety protocols put in place. So before you get into the entrance, uh, you have the uh, EC officer station here to check your temperature and then you wash your hands with soap and the running water. Uh, from there you go to the EC officer stationed uh, on our right hand side uh, to check your name in the voters register. Once your name uh, is checked in the voters register, you move to another EC officer to undergo the verification uh, process. Once that is done, you go through the electoral stick where you have your little finger dipped in the indelible ink before you are issued with the presidential ballot. You have the presidential ballot, you move to the voting screen to cast your vote. When you're done with that process, you move to the other EC officer on the other desk where you have your uh, parliamentary ballot also allocated to you. But right now, there's some kind of scuffle at the entrance because the voters are trying to push themselves at the entrance to undertake the process. EC officers and then uh, security officers are, have been overshadowed by the eligible voters. They are moving in to undertake the process. I, this is something that security officers uh, have to try and then work, work to ensure that the there is calm here because as it stands now the eligible voters have budged in into their premises to force themselves into or the onto the EC officers to undertake the process. The security officers are also standing by uh, 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 looking on because they are they seem helpless in this particular situation. The EC officers and the security officers uh, ensuring that there is calm here have been overshadowed by the eligible voters. They've barged in into the city engineer's polling station uh, to undertake the process. So that is what is currently ongoing at the city engineers. Well, you can see in our shot, some are trying to uh, uh, engage in some fight due to their inability to locate themselves in the queue. That is the situation here. Uh, it, it appears that Ghanaians are eager to undertake this uh, particular electoral process. But Calm needs to be restored here to ensure that this process is conducted peacefully. So that is the situation here at the City Engineers Polling Station Center at the Odududu constituency of the Greater Accra region. Uh, let me try and get in touch with some of the voters and find out why they have decided to come uh, into the entrance. Mamla, over on a city TV. So that is the, some of the voters are attributing it to uh, the security arrangement that has been breached. So they are saying that they 
have been excluded from the queue. But uh, we are hoping that the security officers will be able to ensure calm at this particular police station. Uh, reporting for City News, Amni Ayukwe Okan. We will be moving to uh, some other. Okay, so 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 what the voters are trying to say here is that the EC officers and the security personnel are not offering them the opportunity to be in the queue. So they have tried their best to budge into the premises to undertake the electoral process, but that is not supposed to be the case. That is not supposed to be the case. That is not, let, let's try and get more people to speak to. You welcome to City TV. This is What's your name? My name is Emmanuel Clifford Adam Doku. Okay, but Emmanuel, why have you all messed up here? I think the police cannot manage the situation here. Why do you say so? The, um, what I can say is that looking at the uh, ID card, there are 101. 101 has about 70 percent here than the other numbers. So um, I've asked the, one of the police officers to divide the people into three. 101, let's say we are going to here, 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 so that the queue will move. Because I've even prompt them that they have to look at the situation on the ground. There are so many situations on the ground. This is the deal, though. You see? So the police has to be increased. The number of police here, especially, is Jamestown police. But you people overshadowing the security person, is that the right way to go? I think um, the police has lost their control. Why? You see, this is Jamestown. And Jamestown police don't need to be managing the uh, uh, the situation here. They have to bring another police or increase the police. Because here, it seems like the guys here doesn't respect the police, especially in uh, uh, Jamestown here. You understand? Yes, because as, as you mean, um, you don't respect me. You don't expect me to respect you. You understand? That is the situation. But I advise that the police it has to be increased. The security personnel here has to be increased. You understand? Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you. So you had some eligible votes out there at the city engineers polling station within the radio, radio, radio constituency where some uh, electorates have budged in into the premises to participate in the electoral process. They overshadowed the security officers that were stationed at the entrance to uh, enter into the premises to uh, undertake the voting exercise. But we are hoping to get in touch with the security officer uh, in charge of this particular police station and find out um, what he makes of it and how they intend to handle uh, such a situation uh, in this particular electoral process. So that is the, that is the situation here at the um, city engineers polling station center at the Odududududu constituency. So now the elect eligible voters have budged in here at the uh, city engineers um, polling station center. They've moved from the gate into the premises uh, to undertake the electoral process. And security officers are trying to uh, ensure that there is calm here. That is what the security officers are trying to do. They are ensuring that people are moved into the appropriate queues to go and cast their votes. We have six polling stations here at the city engineers uh, polling center to ensure that each and every uh, electorate is able to cast his or her ballot. So that is it. That is it. Let's move to uh, uh, some more voters and find out why they decided to move straight into the entrance to undertake the exercise. You want to touch up with him? Man, you want to walk like a man, but you find you pull in your bag inside like that. I find a bag man here for shiki. Can how? We are not by. Can we? Sebino
So you heard there are some uh, eligible voters who are given reasons as to why they bumped into the EC officers and security officers stationed at City Engineers at the Odododo constituency of the Greater Accra region to undertake the electoral process. That was the situation that happened some few minutes ago here at the centre because they are saying that the EC officers are preventing them from being in the appropriate, their appropriate positions in the queue. So the centre uh, has six polling stations where the electoral, uh, the eligible voters are supposed to go to their rightful centre to partake in this exercise. So we'll try and then speak to um, some more voters and then find out how the exercise uh, has been so far and what they intend to base their vote on in this particular um, elections. Okay, so um, she seems busy there, but let's try and then find out more from here. I didn't know how to push it by inside. Pachayi na ya pensunje, ya pensunje wagana. Aha, ya pano baku wagana. Nti na yeni na ya prese ya timi baasi. Na mo pensunje ya se yu police ifo isi mungina gate nechi. Nanka yam fra fra mo, yam fra fra mo. Na didn't know how to push it by inside. Okay, so um, she seems engaged with the EC officer here. So let me try and then get in touch with some other people. Well, as you can see in your screen, um, the COVID-19 safety protocols are being enforced here. So you wash your hands and the running water with soap, and then you get a tissue to clean up before you move to the EC officers to uh, undertake this particular uh, electoral process. So that is what is ongoing here. But uh, just some few minutes ago, the electorate were at the gate of the city engineers polling station center at Odododio constituency, but they had to overshadow the security officers and the EC officers stationed at the entrance to move into the premises and uh, uh, cast their votes because they were saying that uh, their rightful positions in the queue were not being allocated to them by the security officers and the EC officials. So the budget here are the premises to participate in the elections. That is the situation here and that is what happened some few minutes ago at the city engineers uh, polling station center in the Odojo constituency of the Greater Accra region. So, as you can see, well, it appears that as it stands now, we've had the security officers here, uh, the security, the district commander for the Jamestown district police commander is here to ensure that there is calm. I'm pretty sure that he's heard what happened here and he would want to uh, uh, see for himself what exactly the situation is. We want them to go back. Okay. 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 So, so the, the, the way they are inside is not fair. Okay. So, but but what happened? They, they have to go back. What happened? Uh, what happened? Nothing happened. Nothing happened. But the people just moved into the premises. Well, um, I'll try and then get in touch with the district police commander to find out from him um, what exactly the situation is. Um, sir, good morning. Yeah. 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 Okay, so the district police commander seems not ready to speak. He, he's just arriving to seek more information on what exactly happened here at the city engineer's police station center before he can be able to make any uh, 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 comment on this particular incident. But we are pretty sure that the security officers uh, would be on top of the issue because they have given us the assurance that uh, this particular election is going to be peaceful and that is what we are all hoping uh, uh, for in this particular elections. So that is it. You can see the security officers around um, trying as much as possible to ensure there is calm here. That is what. Let, let, let's get closer and find out what he is. 
not go out. No, no, but then, no, wait, no. wait. We are not going to spoil the queue. Huh? So you all go back. Huh? So that the queue that you are in, it will be followed the same way. Are you getting the point? So, so that is the Jamestown District Police Commander um, who is trying to ensure that there is come here are the city engineers uh, polling station centre in the Odorodio constituency of the Greater Accra region. So that is it. That is it. Somebody will come and form a queue in the morning and then you will disrupt the process. We don't want that. So that is what we are going to do. So bear with us. Is that okay? Okay, you heard the district police commander, DSP Alexander Tiku. In your shot, he is trying to speak to the eligible voters to ensure that they organize themselves well uh, at the entrance of the gate to undertake the process. So you heard him there, DSP Alexander Tiku of the Jamestown District Police Command. So let, let's see if uh, these people or uh, eligible voters for that matter would be organized uh, uh, by the security officers at the back of this particular polling station center in the Odio 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 constituency. So still in your shot, you can see some uh, security officers. We've had some uh, immigration, immigration officers also, in addition to the police personnel here, trying to ensure that the people are well organized uh, in the queue to participate in the electoral process. The immigration officers are also here assisting the police to ensure calm and that the, the process is organized. That is the situation here. That is the situation here at the Odududu constituency of the Great Africa region. That is it. So, 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 it doesn't appear all that nice here at the city engineers police station center in the Odeodeodeo constituency of the Greater Accra region because the people uh, uh, have moved from the gate of city engineers uh, police station center into the premises where the exercise is ongoing. They overshadow the security uh, officers at the entrance, the police and then the EC officers at the entrance to bump into them within the uh, police station to undertake the process. But that is not the uh, uh, position or the world manner that they are supposed to do. That is not what they are supposed to do. They were supposed to be at the gate and then they will be called in one after the other to undertake this particular exercise. But uh, uh, speaking to some of them, they, they said that the EC officers and the security personnel, police precisely, are not being fair to them in the queue. They are not being allocated their rightful positions in the queue. So um, they decided to just bump in here and then uh, form the queue rather than being at the gate. The district police commander, uh, DSV Alexander Tiku, um, is here with his men to ensure that the people are well organized to undertake this particular exercise. We're just hoping that this would be conducted in a peaceful manner and a well organized manner. That is it here. That is it here at the Odeodeodeo constituency, city engineers, polling station center precisely. So the EC officers and the police, the immigration officers are still in your shots trying to calm nerves down and then ensure the line is well formed, the queue is well formed. Uh, so, so that is it. That is it here at the Odododio constituency. That is the situation here. That is the situation here. That is the situation. Hello, I'm going to talk to you. I'm Na 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 na
Bona. <laughs> So you had the, uh, a voter who is given reasons as to why they bump into the security officers and the EC officials stationed here at the city engineers police station centre to participate in the elections. That was not supposed to be the case. They were all supposed to be at the gate of the police station centre. But uh, they are saying that um, they are not being allocated their rightful positions in the queue. So they had to bump in. According to Nayele, um, previously they were arranged according to uh, their demographics. So probably if you are an elderly or the aged, you are moved in a queue, you are a child or uh, you are within the 18 and then within the youth age or youth bracket, you are also uh, uh, lined up in another queue. But the situation here is different from today. So uh, they decided to bump in here at the centre and then undertake the exercise. So as I have in your, my short, uh, DSP Alexander Tsiyoku, that's a Jamestown District Police Commander here. He's ready to speak to us and then we find out uh, what he's been able to gather so far. You're welcome to City TV, sir. Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much. All right. So if I got your name right, DSP Alexander Tsiyoku, District Police Commander of Jamestown. Yes. Okay. yes so I want to find out from you, what have you been able to gather so far? Uh, in fact, we, when we came in, we, we saw a chaotic situation. We realized that some people were not observing social distancing. So that is what we are trying to do, to ensure that they let space come in, uh -huh, so that in a way they will be observing social distancing. We don't want a situation whereby somebody will pick a, a, a coronavirus from here. That is why we are asking them to go back so that there will be a little bit space among them. So previously they were all at the gates and then your officers were stationed there, including the EC officers. They were overshadowed. Uh, are you not worried about this? We are not worried. We are not worried. That, that was why they called for reinforcement. So some of these situations you have to expect it. And so once they, call, they lay a call, we come in to assist. Okay. So, so what are some of the other measures you have put in place to ensure that this place is peaceful and then well organized? Yeah, that's why we have brought a lot of police personnel here and some of our security, sister security agencies. They are here to assist us and so by and large I think that we are, we are trying to uh, maintain law and order. Okay. Yeah. So let's find out from you, have you been to other police stations to ascertain the situation there? Yes, yes, we have been to other places and, and the situation is calm, the situation is calm with the exception of this place and Sempe area. But we went there a while ago, we were able to uh, restore camp. Uh, Thank you so much for speaking with us.
Alright, so you have the, the Jamestown District Police Commander, uh, DSP Alexander Tioku, explaining to us what exactly the situation is here at the City Engineers Polling Station Center in Diodo, Diodo constituency. So as I've been narrating all this while, well, previously the voters were at the gate, but they pushed themselves into the premises to undertake the electoral process because they were saying that they were not being fairly treated in the queue. So they had to come in and then uh, arrange themselves. But the security officers, the police, and then immigration officials have ensured that the people are well organized uh, to participate in this election. So that is the situation here at the city engineers polling station center. Uh, we will be moving from here to other uh, polling stations as well within the Odododio constituency to ascertain the situation on the ground. Amni Ayukwe Okai for City News.